Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney on this channel. We answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. We have a question from YouTube user Antonio who asked us, what's the difference between you suing the employer with a lawyer or the EEOC suing the employer for you? What are the pros and cons and can you get just as big a settlement with both? Okay, so first and foremost, if the EEOC will actually represent you, which happens, I think, in less than 2% of situations, uh, that's great. Sometimes people still want an attorney if the EEOC is representing them just because the EEOC is not uh, the best. <laughs> um, but generally speaking, yeah, if the EEOC is willing to represent you, that's great. That's awesome. The big difference is if the EEOC is representing you and you and doing a great job, you're not paying them. That's huge. That's amazing. Somewhere between 25 and 50% of what you win is going to go to an attorney, depending on the deal you have with your attorney. And if you don't have to give somebody 25 to 50% of what you win, I'm happy for you. That's tremendous. Now, will the EEOC maximize your take? Um, I don't know. Right? Uh, it depends on who... You're working with at the EEOC. There are, so, there are some incredible people at the EEOC. There's some really, really amazing folks over there. Um, but they are, to some extent, the exception that proves the rule, right? The EEOC is, of course, government workers, um, underpaid, overworked, unenthused often. Um, so, you know, you need to judge who you're working with and get a feel for, like, if they're going to do the job for you or not. Now, the other way to look at it is if you're representing yourself, right? There's a lot of people who say, well, what's the difference between working an attorney and working, you know, representing yourself? <laughs> Basically, what it comes down to is the average person representing themselves doesn't even really understand what they need to prove to win their case. They don't really understand how to value their case. They don't understand how to hedge for risk. Um, they don't know what they can do to reduce the risk in their case, right? Like there's a lot that can be done by an experienced employment attorney to reduce risk and add value. That is the job of an employment attorney. They come to the case, they're hired, and day one, they better be reducing risk and adding value. Um, if they're not, they're robbing you, right? At, at, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. They're just taking your money, they're taking a percentage of what they win for you. And if they hadn't reduced risk and added value, then they've just been of no value to you, right? That being said, years of experience, over a decade of experience has taught me that pro se litigants receive a fraction, a fraction in terms of monetary awards and settlements as represented individuals do. Um, a good employment attorney, even a mediocre or bad employment attorney, will generally have a positive effect on the settlement amount and the likelihood of a settlement being achieved. So can't stress enough, if you're thinking about representing yourself, don't it is a terrible idea. I know I make videos answering questions for pro se litigants. Listen, you know the saying, a man who represents himself has a fool for a client. I'd go a step further. I think the average pro se litigant kind of hates themselves. Like it, it's, it's, I get it. I get why you do it. And I wish you all great success. But I'm always a little sad when I see it happening because I know that like it, the case probably would be better off with an experienced employment attorney. It makes me sad. But I'm excited for you. I hope, I hope big wins for all of you. I'm going to get some salty comments on this one, I think. Now, Antonio, it's different if the EOC is representing you. It's not the same as just representing yourself. Um, but I'm a bit dismissive of the idea that the EOC will represent a given person just because it's so rarely the case. Anyways, Antonio, I hope this answers your question. Good luck to you. Great success in your case. I hope you are made whole and get a fat check. Uh, if this was helpful, like, subscribe, comment down below. It helps me to help more people just like you. Take care.